Hello, I'm Kega Stefano. Welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will be sharing with you how to crochet this cute top. In this video, I used 8 ply poly cotton yarn, 2.5 mm hook, pair of scissors, weaving needle, and a measuring tape. First, you want to measure from underarm level to under bust level or lower. This will serve as height of our coverage. With that length, start with a slip knot and make our foundation chain. After that, make additional two chains. It will serve as our first double crochet and make double crochet on the fourth chain from hook. Repeat, making double crochet across. After our first row, make 3 chains and double crochet next stitch across. After that, repeat adding rows using the process in row 2 until it's enough to wrap around your body. After many rows, chain 1, tighten the yarn, and cut. After that, fold the top like this and determine where to attach the strap. To attach the yarn, insert your hook. From there, make a slip knot. Yarn over. And to start our strap, chain 3. Double crochet next row. Make another chain 3. And in this space, double crochet. Repeat the process until it's long enough for our strap. Mine is 33 cm. Make sure to stretch the yarn so it won't get loose when worn. Make sure the strap is not twisted before attaching it at the back. To attach, chain 2, slip stitch, Double crochet from the last space. And again, slip stitch in the next row. First row for our strap, make 3 double crochet in each space. Make sure your double crochets are on the outside part of the strap.
second row, we will now make V stitches. To make V stitches, start with chain 3, skip 1 stitch, double crochet next stitch, chain 3, and again double crochet on the same stitch. Again, skip 1 stitch, double crochet next stitch, chain 3, and double crochet same stitch. Repeat the process across. For row 3, start again with chain 3, double crochet on the center chain of the previous 3 chains, back loop, chain 3, and double crochet again on that back loop. Again, double crochet in the next 3 chains in the center back loop, chain 3, and double crochet, same back loop. Repeat the process across. For row 4, 5, and 6, just repeat the process in row 3. After finishing row 6, slip stitch all the rows from our foundation. Chain 1 and again make another row of these stitches. This will be our last row. But instead of chaining 3, make that 4 chains to get that art effect. After your last V-stitch for our row 7, slip stitch again all the rows from our foundation. Finish it off by making additional chain 1. After finishing our first strap, it should look like this. And to determine where to attach the second strap, you can fold it like this. Or count the rows from this corner and also to, and make sure to have the same count of rows on the other side. After determining the row where to attach the other strap, we will just repeat the process and don't forget to Make sure that the straps are not twisted and you're making the flap part on the outer side of the strap.
after our second strap, it should look like this. For our back crisscross lace, I just triple pulled my yarn because it's thin and made a chain of at least 350. For our front part ribbon, I made it a chain of at least 80. To assemble the ribbon, determine the middle row between the straps and I made use of a weaving needle to make it easier to insert the ribbon between the stitches. I also added some tassels to make it more attractive. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe and click that bell button. Thank you!